cut down next along here. I wanted to shoot my um, wild grinders. Um, collect all. I have two so far. Uh, maybe I have all six B by even like two months. So yeah, first I'll start off with the first one, which is me. I mean, turn it all the way around. Just something really cool, really cool, and very good use on videos to look this way or to look that way. I just go full head all around. So yeah, this is pretty cool. And his tip tip is pretty sick. And he's got bar bite marks. And of course, you know that right away because he's a dog. And here, fire hydrant, a heat on. And the log grinders here at Ray. Um, written in bones, and it's really cool because, um, like, you know, hardcore skaters, their skaters are all busted up. So, we how a dog can have one of those. So, yeah. The media, okay. Then we have the coolest one I have is, um, Spitball. Or some other video that some guy called him Jackknife. But that's let you know, this, this guy ain't Jackknife, you fool. So, yeah. Uh, He's um pretty an average Mexican um hardcore skater, bandana um, on his head and brand bandanas on his wrists, as you can see. And this loose chain right here. Really loose. That's really cool because if you skateboard like this, um, let's get an example here um, skateboard like this, like the chain moves around like that. Pretty cool, and these things, uh, let me finish talking about them, maybe like loafers, maybe, and um, like ripped pants if you can't see, right there, and um, shoes are a pretty good style, and this guy's like all around full fashioned, uh, old school, mixed old school hardcore skater, so yeah, and what's really cool about these is when you buy a package of these, that you're actually buying a magnet and a tech deck. A magnet person, because look at you can still do tricks. So yeah, it's pretty fun. Some just like a regular tech deck. So yeah, it's, pretty, it's pretty sick even though you just have one. It's pretty cool. And not only any like stairs or ruins for this stuff, because you can basically you just fall on the house. Like, look at well, try to use like their very own skateboard because it doesn't work very good with um, dirt skating skateboards. So you get a hard, it's like a good spot for them. It takes a couple of minutes to do that, but the board doesn't really sit. You can use like a pen as a grinding bar stairs, There's a couple of books stacked up on each other. So, an example here to show you right now. Um, let's move on from this and let me start talking about the group rod grinders. Um, the group rod grinders is basically Rob Didix, um group. Now, Rob Didix group, you will see a group that he made when he was a kid. He had to do this for, um, some, for some presentation for Walmart. It's supposedly what he said. So, um, WG, there's sign. So, yeah. So, so, super cool. Um, once you get into, like, collecting them. Because, um, <clears throat> if you're really good at collecting these type of things, then, then you should know that you should always buy at least two sets of each character. So, one in the box, one you can play with. So, yeah, this is pretty sick. This is pretty cool. So, yeah, we need... Let's get back to Bob's gear deck. Um, let's talk about some of their um, profiles. Let's talk about Spitball's profile. Spitball is the youngest of the crew and the only member not from where they're all from. And But Rob Dyrdek still um, let him in the group because cause supposedly he saw him at some um, skate park being some, doing some really cool tricks. So yeah. Um, they they made him, they led him to the game. So now let's move on to me. Me! So yeah, let's move on to me. One 
So it all starts off very like needy. Got one. Got um his mom bring home a puppy, and he just taught him how to skateboard. So yeah, that's basically it. Check out my other videos on how to on how to um do a kickflip.